Hello friends, it's me Umesh Malik and welcome to my channel. Uh, in this channel, I used to talk about the experiments you can do at home. Uh, today it's about the experiment to calculate the uh, radius of the earth with the natural phenomena that we observe uh, daily. Uh, I got the idea about the experiment from one of the question I have seen in a physics book uh, I have seen that question in Fundamental of Physics written by uh, Resnick, Halliday and Walker. <coughs> in this question, uh, an observer uh, observes the setting of the sun uh, from the beach of the ocean. Uh, while, lying, uh, while lying on the beach, the observer uh, observes the sun setting. And as soon as the uh, observer uh, sees the sun setting while lying and stands up he again sees the sun second time and uh, he sees the sun setting for the second time also and he calculate the uh, time interval between those two uh, sun setting and with the help of that time interval and observe or uh, we can calculate the radius of the earth now let's look the question and try to get how we can calculate the radius okay the problem is this question number 19 there is written suppose that while lying on a beach near the equator watching the sunset over a calm ocean you start a stopwatch just as the top of the sun disappears you then stand elevating your eyes by the height h is equals to 1.70 meter and stop the watch when the top of the sun again disappears. If the elapsed time is t is equals to 11.1 second, what is the radius r of the earth? Okay, now let's try to solve this problem. Okay, suppose this is our earth. This is the center of the earth. This earth is continuously rotating. This or completes its one rotation in one day. And in one day, this is equal to 23 hour, 56 minute and 4 second. This equals to uh, 86164 seconds. Okay. Now, <clears throat> we can see the sun. Uh, as long as the rays of the sun enter to our eyes. Now, we can see the uh, sun only up to this point uh, if the rays of the light is coming uh, like this, in this direction. Because uh, after this point, as the earth rotates, we will shift uh, towards this direction and the earth part will cover uh, earth part will uh, screen so uh, earth part will uh, not allow the rays of the light to enter in our eyes and so that we couldn't uh, see the sun okay <clears throat> suppose this is the radius of the earth let it be r uh, this earth is continuously rotating suppose uh, uh, here the observer is lying and uh, here the observer first sees the uh, sun setting and the observer uh, starts the stopwatch here. Uh, this, uh, this is the uh, point of t is equal to 0 and uh, thus after the sun sets here the observer stands up and sees up to the sees the sun up to the time period t is equals to 11 point uh, one seconds let up to this point i have drawn uh, this kind of the figure it is not so much practical because this uh, distance will be in uh, in real this distance will be so smaller Suppose this is the height and up to this point the observer sees the sun setting for the second time here 
at this point so observer sees the sun setting for the second time uh, let this is the point for 11.1 second this is the height uh, this is the radius from here to here this is the radius of the earth now let's try to calculate the radius of the earth how we can calculate is um, uh, uh, here given t is equals to 11.1 second time the time interval okay now we know this earth completes its one rotation that means uh, in one rotation the earth covers uh, 360 degree that means the earth will rotate 360 degree that is in one day the earth will rotate 360 degree this one day means uh, 86164 uh, second is equals to is equal equivalent to 360 degree then in one second the earth would rotate 360 divided by 86164 uh, this degree that means in t is equals to 11.1 second how much the earth would rotate this means 11 point in 11.1 second the earth would have rotated 86164 into 11.1 uh, degree this will give in 11 second this will give 399 3996 divided by uh, 86164 degree this means let this be the theta therefore the theta is equals to uh, 3996 divided by 86164 degree now suppose uh, in this triangle this is the right angle triangle this is the right angle triangle in this right angle triangle uh, cos theta is equals to base over hypotenuse the base is radius h and the hypotenuse is h plus r from here uh, h cos theta plus r cos theta is equals to r uh, and h cos theta is equals to this goes to the next side of the equals and it becomes r1 minus cos theta therefore r is equals to h cos theta divided by 1 minus cos theta from this equation we can calculate the radius h now let's put the values here uh, let us put the value here r is equals to h means 1.70 meter and cos theta means cos uh, 3996 divided by 86164 degree divided by 1 minus cos 3996 divided by 86164 degree so here we get the answer to be r is equals to 5189451.5 meter this can be approx this can be approximately written as 5.2 into 10 to the power 6 meter you have seen the question and also we have seen the process how we can calculate the radius of the earth uh, with the help of that time interval hope you have liked the video uh, if you have liked the video then do subscribe to my channel i'll be back with the new video soon